Target just announced its summer earnings, but all they could talk about was your Halloween costume. Target is trick-or-treating already because of the 80-20 rule. Jack, can we talk about like the most underappreciated secret in all of shopping right now, should we say it? There's too much stuff on like every shelf. Now, over at Target in aisle six, they got to sell 8,000 extra blow dryers they're stuck with. Target announced months ago, and we covered it on this pod, that they over-ordered big time had too much inventory, so they had to slash prices to clear the house. Jerry, what are we going to do with all these hair dryers? Someone's got to get the curling irons. And that meant that you got to buy an $80 cooler for 40 bucks. And you know what? That's not a profitable way to run a business. No, and that's why Target's profits just fell 90% last quarter. But that was the past. Target wants to look ahead to the future. They do. And here is Target's plan to look ahead. Here it is. Here it is. Halloween right now. The CEO said it best. We need to lean into the holidays here at Target. Target's going full Hallmark card on us. Yet he's, it is August, which by the way, is the only month of the year with no national holiday. And yet Jack and I noticed that Target just said the word holiday 11 times on their earnings call. What is going on here, Target? What's going on, Target? Target says that celebration moments drive visits. So here's Target's real plan. Drag out and amp up those celebration moments. For example, they say that Halloween brings a very engaged customer into Target to spend a lot of money. I mean, Jack, we all have that friend who hired like an entire makeup team to do their Shrek outfit. Which is why they are bringing Halloween from the fall, where it belongs, yes, to now, to the summertime. Get this, Yetis. The whole Halloween collection over at Target, it dropped in July, three weeks ago. Uh, Shrek, is that you? Didn't expect to see you this time of year. Shrek green is the new summer tan. And Target isn't just loading up early on trick-or-treat Kit Kats. No, they're not. This is where Jack and I had to sit down, stand up, and sit back down again. They announced that they're going to roll out their Thanksgiving gear months in advance, starting in September. It's not even sweater weather yet, and Target wants us munching on Snickers bars and slurping up turkey gravy. I just bought Wilder a jack o lantern Nick. Don't tell the kids, but Halloween began a month ago. So, Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at Target? You're seeing Halloween in July because of the 80-20 rule. Yeah, it is the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle. It's this really bizarre general rule of life that 80% of results come from just 20% of the people involved. This is like straight out of the Da Vinci Code. It's like the Fibonacci sequence of finance. It was first noticed in Italy, where 80% of the land was owned by just 20% of the Italians. And you may notice it today because 80% of your Instagram likes come from 20% of your followers. In business generally, and probably where you work too, 80% of profits tend to come from the best 20% of customers. So it's likely 80% of Target's earnings come from its 20% of customers who are holiday obsessed. The 80-20 rule, it's not always the case, but it is a bizarrely reoccurring ratio in business. That's why you saw Halloween costumes the week after the 4th of July. Thanks for T-boying with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for pop biz every day.